what's up guys, my name is Rafire Storm and welcome back to another RPG Maker MV tutorial. This time we talk about Experience Bound. This tutorial will show you how to alter the experience you get based on your level and the enemy's level. Although since this is fairly situational, not every project will be, will be able to use this to its fullest potential. So this tutorial might not be even useful to you at, at all. But uh, let's get straight into it. Let's start off by going to our database. In our database here, you'll see that I have two enemies, Tempest Fenrir and Hammer Ram. These both have different levels, so Tempest Fenrir has, is only level 1, and Hammer Ram is level 5, respectively. But they both wield 300 GSP. We're using a, a good old ballpark number so that we can easily tell the difference when we apply all the things we need. Uh, I should also mention that I don't think you can use this with the Enfly's enemy levels. I'm not using the Amplified's enemy levels here, that's for sure, so, so I'm just writing out the levels by themselves. Now let's get into our states. As you can see here, I have 11 states, each with a certain percentage value for each experience. Only one of these will be applied based on the, on the commute or the level difference between the enemy and the party, or whichever level we're going to be using, as I'll explain later. Getting to our state parameters, you'll see that, of course, each of these specific states have their specific traits. So say XP 80% has experience times 8% bound within special parameters. Priority doesn't really matter. You can actually just set it at zero if you want, or you can set it to 100. Removal conditions, this is very important. Uh, do not check remove at battle end. This will be important later. You'll see why. Um, here I have a custom apply effect. This is with Yanfly's buff and state score. You don't have to use a specific effect, but it'll display however much experience on the states during battle. So that'll be helpful to actually visually see. Now let's get into the actual method of what we're going to be using to compare our levels with the enemy. We'll go into our troops tab. Now, there are actually two methods, which is why we're using two different enemies. We're going to be talking about the Fenrir method first, although I guess it's not really called that. Uh, this is a normal sitting screen. Uh, control variables. Using using one of your variables, you can control, say, this is variable one, which is called relative level, to equal the level room fire, which is our first actor in the party. Or if you're using some other variable, say, maybe you're trying to get a cumulative variable of your entire party's level, then you can use that instead. Then we can use several conditional branches such as if relative level equals 1, apply to state to an entire party, EXP is equal to 100%. This is not so much of a state that that changes anything to major, but it always it always show in the party tab that what, how much EXP they're going to be getting. Do the same with increasing variables such as, of course, in increasing numbers 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 all the way to 11, which is our 1%. Now funnily enough, you can't actually set EXP to 0%, so that's why it's only at 1% here. If you want to use this method, you ought to start off with the level of the specific monster, and go up by however many states you have. So since there's 11 states, we'll be having 11 states starting at level 1 to level 11. However, if it was level 5, we'd be starting from 5 to 15. Alright, we're level 1, and you can see our EXP rate is 100%. And we're gonna start off by, uh, of course, finishing off this wolf. See if our result is correct, just to make sure. This is a small action sequence I made for Astral Waltz. Just a simple thing. And look at that, 300 EXP, just as expected. This time we're at level 5, and our experience rate is 60%. And again, we're going to finish off this Fenrir Wolf, or Tempest Fenrir, using Astral Wolves. Which is a really cool name, in my opinion. As we deal 75 damage, our result will be 180 EXP, just as expected. Again. Remember that, ba that remove a battle end thing? Well, here's what happens when you turn it on. We go through Astral, Astral Wolves, one... More time. And look at that, 300 EXP. Now let's go on, go on to method 2. Now we'll be starting off with our actual level, again. 
but then we have to subtract the level of the monster. So Hammer Ram is level 5. Now if the relative level, so we're going to be using conditional branch which is comparing this relative level to 0, or less than 0, I'm not sure if that actually works. We'll be putting our entire party with HP 100, and then we can just go up by 1 to, to 10. We don't have to go to 11 because we already have this, this 0 conditional branch. The reason why method number 2 is a lot easier than method number 1, all you have to change every single time is what level you're subtracting your party level by. If you're using method number 1, you'd have to change all of these levels to be, you know, around what your enemy level is. And that'd be pretty, uh, pretty tiring to do every single time. Finally, we're going to show off the RAM and its formula. We're level 10 and we have a 50% experience rate. And well, once again, finally, he's one last final Astral Waltz. I guess this, that's uh, redundance, but yeah, we deal 75 damage. And we do indeed get 150 experience, which is 50%. Now there's one last thing we have to do before we finish up. Depending on whether or not, actually it doesn't depend on it at all. If you have a battle processing event or random encounters, doesn't matter. You'll need to have a parallel event that, that says to remove every single one of these states. This is important because if you have that remove a battle end parameter checked in the states as we saw in the database, at the database that, will, that will remove it directly at the end, which means that the change will not apply at all. So you're going to do this after the battle. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, uh, well, I have another tutorial planned, but it might take two weeks. So probably next week we'll have something other, some other RPG Maker thing, probably a dev update or something for my game. But uh, yeah. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. I said that already, but I might as well say it again. See you guys, and stay safe.